Hello and welcome everybody to a new AMA or interview with uh, Ching, uh, our ex executive producer. And uh, today we have something really nice to show you, which most of you guys have already been waiting for for a long time. So you saw all the uh, uh, Crusader Town uh, buildings that we have. And Ching will now show us, uh, show us the, the Kahi Town. So I'm really excited. Uh, let me pull it up in the stream and then Ching, uh, what do we see here now? Uh, hello everyone, uh, good to be back again. So what you see here is uh, a new town for the Kai tribe. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see, the style, the architecture, everything is different. This is what we are aiming for, for the different factions. Uh, we're using the same environment. And later with the different terrains, you will also see different textures, different terrains. Of course, they won't look always the same. Uh, just mm -hmm. again, as I always do, <laughs> At the beginning of the, 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 the call is, these are working progress uh, assets and the working progress build. Uh, we show you the early progress, but to keep uh, a pinch of salt, this won't be the final one later in the game. Uh, we're iterating as we go. Hmm. Yeah, for example, the, the ground will be adjusted to, to the surroundings and uh, yeah. everything. So as we always say, work in progress, but um, yeah, so, uh, so that's the the Kahi town, and uh, the we had an AMA also with Joaquin where he said like that the look and feel of the buildings is now different. Like if you uh, have still the Crusader town in uh, in, uh, in mind, it's it's completely different now. So you can choose in the beginning if you want to be a Crusader or um, a, a, a Turkic tribe uh, um, follower. So uh, if you choose Kahi then you will get this town set up. And uh, there, oh, I see you added also uh, animals over there. <laughs> yeah, little animals. For now, they are still just stand still. Later, they will move around. Hmm. And you will also add different, um, different animations. Uh, that's what I always say. So if you see something still at the moment, later on, it will look more dynamic uh, animations and everything. Uh, but yeah, um, what can we do with those buildings now in the Kai town? So functionality-wise, uh, for both factions, uh, you have a similar kind of a functional buildings. Uh, there are resource buildings for uh, farms. For instance, let's uh, zoom into the here. This is a farm <clears throat> where you uh, grow wheat and, uh, or food in general. And then we have uh, mines where you can collect stones. And then we have a lumber mill where you have uh, you can uh, accumulate uh, wood. <clears throat> Those are basic uh, resources for you to upgrade your towns and doing some other uh, tasks. For the other buildings, for instance, this is stable where you can recruit uh, uh, cavalries or horsemen. And then you have uh, the archery range where you can uh, recruit uh, archers. As you can see here now, we uh, show all the <clears throat> sketches here just to, to make sure that all the buildings and the characters to look uh, accordingly to the different factions. Uh, mm -hmm. Also two more buildings to show. This is a Hero, Hero Academy. This is where you will, uh, the name has mentioned, uh, it's a, uh, it should be called a Hero Academy where you mm -hmm. recruit heroes. And uh, the hero you recruit are have, uh, they will have different ability, different, uh, let's say uh, rarity, and later we'll also um, uh, release uh, hero NFTs. So they will be the leaders to leading your troops, uh, join the fights and then further and build on your, your clan. Mm. And the last one, this is a, um, this one is a military uh, headquarter office. That's where you have, um, you can manage your troops, including your uh, heroes and your other units. Uh, as you can see here, we're just putting a placeholder. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to add more um, UI, UI assets and the, the flow, the functionality to it as well. Hmm. So uh, for the Crusader Town, we had once you reach a certain level, the whole look and feel of the uh, the town will change. Can we do that for the for the Kahi as well? And you show us how, how, how it will look once we reach level five? Sure, no problem. <clears throat> So we're all on the level four already. And then we upgrade to the next level. 
uh, here we're still using the old uh, thumbnail images. We'll also change this to the, the new thumbnail for the uh, Turkish tribes. So let's just do an instant upgrade. Mm. Instant. And when I click, and you can see all the buildings have upgraded. <clears throat> <laughs> this is a moment I know Luca is very happy to. All yeah, I was waiting happening. for this for, for a long time, and I know that the community was sitting there. How will the uh, Kain town look like? What kind of buildings will we have over there? And uh, how will it be the look and feel? Like we had lots of questions, uh, and I'm happy that we can finally now show also the Kain town and, and complete. So um, that's yeah. really cool. Yeah. And. And what, what will happen next? So now we have the Crusader town, we have the, the Kahi town. What are the next steps that you and the product team is, uh, is working on? Um, so as we're speaking, we also work on the promise map. Uh, we, we talk about this in the other um, AMA videos mm -hmm. as, as well. Uh, so it's about the building the, uh, we call the modules. And uh, to, from the user point of view, it's rather like create different environment the town, the province, uh, and the world. And uh, once all these are created, these are contexts, the, the environment, and then it's about actual functionality. For instance, in the hero buildings, you should have this uh, recruitment flow. As I showed, you can recruit uh, heroes and you can upgrade heroes. For instance, you click here, and then you will see a progressing of recruiting a hero. Once a hero is recruited, <clears throat> they will be uh, shown to you as they can use a hero. Uh, these are the functionality we're building. Uh, we're also uh, keep uh, improving the visuals for the for the town and mm. the province. And uh, so the next milestone is uh, build um, uh, create the build that we can have the early first early access to our mm. landowners. So if you own a land, you will be able to access this game uh, for that release, and then you can get your hands on, start trying building your town. And also, uh, this release will be persist uh, progression uh, persist as uh, uh, we continue releasing uh, new uh, versions. That means you have uh, well has on your town earlier. You can build earlier, and the, the resource everything accumulate uh, uh, accumulation start as you progress in longer. You will be more uh, advantage, and also you can prepare your town, prepare your land for soon. Once we have a public uh, uh, access uh, release everyone can come to rent your land. Hmm. I, I know that there are a couple of people patiently or impatiently waiting, uh, including me. Uh, so uh, yeah, we also have uh, airdrops next week for landowners uh, where we drop each day a piece of land to one of the already existing landowners. So uh, if you want to take part in the early access, uh, you still can uh, um, get some land on OpenSea. Um, the link is also in the description. And um, yeah, in the future, uh, we will have airdrops uh, for landowners as well. And that's starting uh, in the week from uh, 20th to 24th of uh, February. Uh, we will have the next airdrop series. So if you get a piece of land before that, uh, you will automatically participate in those airdrops as well. Um, so yeah, uh, and I think what you're showing right now, those will be NFTs maybe as well. Um, yeah, this, uh, this is the plan to have uh, the, the statue of NFTs. Uh, the, those are for uh, our players or our audience who want to uh, put a, a giant uh, statue. Uh, we are thinking about using the Etogor as the first one uh, in your town as a decorative um, uh, building. But also with the collection, if you uh, complete, you can also have the extra benefit for your land. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, something... We internally would really like to, to, to create, to add a bit of uh, flavor for everyone can have their town a bit different as well. Uh, this is on the, our roadmap uh, to have more decorative buildings as well. Hmm. Yeah, perfect. Uh, yeah, uh, thanks, Ching, for showing us this beautiful town. Uh, let me see what sure. the community will uh, say in the comments if they like it uh, and if they are also eager to play the game as we are. And uh, yeah, then we will show you the next uh, game updates, uh, most likely next week or the week after. As usual, uh, we are completely web-free, totally transparent on what we uh, show you guys here. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Uh, and don't forget to uh, subscribe uh, to get all the updates that we have over here. So uh, thanks, Ching, for being here. Uh, always a pleasure to bother you. Welcome. And, uh, I will... It's not bother.
<laughs> I, I will do that more often again. Uh, so have a nice day and uh, see you on the next day, Amy.